So today got a special unboxing. Got my drag cars on the table. Got two more drag cars. Well, actually, three more drag cars that I got to get parts for. We had a special package show up today. Um, in my last unboxing of this product, um, I had an issue with some hardware. So if you guys uh, don't know, now you know who it's from. So had some hardware issues on that guy putting on the reefs wheels and got an email from him stating that he saw the video and he's going to get some hardware out to me and uh there we go we got some hardware out to go ahead and fix my Chevy too. So we're going to get those wheels finally put back together. And if you haven't seen those wheels, man, they are fire. So let me give you a little look before we unbox or before I show you the new set. Look at those wheels. They are just on point. Combo Pros, love that little look in the back off the missing link, old school design, you gotta love it. And then we get over to Watermelon, and Watermelon's definitely missing something. But, loving that tread pattern on that old school design. Thanks for Reefs doing some pretty cool designs. Tony, CCXRC, showing some pretty cool designs. But there we go. Now let's get into the look in at the new setup. So, like I said, we got the hardware. Gonna get those uh, fixed up properly now. All the front wheels still need to be glued. I haven't glued them. Um, I've got some glue on the way that I think is gonna work to where I'm gonna try on a plastic wheel and see if I can get it right off. But he sent out some pretty cool stickers. We'll get put on some of the license plates of these RCs. Got the double reef sticker in white, black. Gonna go good on some of uh, some of these RCs. So if you haven't seen reefs src.com go check them out reefs rc products give them a follow facebook instagram so without any more waiting let's uh let's cut into these wheels and see what we got so that's the limited edition series two style wheel and uh got an email from him saying hey i'm down to the last set on the series one so before like i told you guys there's only 18 sets on each one of these limited products that he's releasing
so um, definitely don't damage them because you're not going to get a replacement but you know how we do it we run our wheels so the series one spiral cut right here so if you look at our IROC build it's got a spiral cut directional as well except the spokes are like two 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 and two and they are directional this is just a lot more spokes definitely looking fire let's let's rip into this thing I can't wait because these are the wheels if you notice the wheels I got on watermelon kind of a multi spoke design from Proline and I think these wheels are gonna just look fire on that RC so we got some hardware for it looks like the longer hardware like we should have now what I've noticed about his limited edition wheels is they don't have lug nuts in the centers like the other ones do so you don't have the option of putting the bolts in there which is kind of cool because then you know which ones are limited and which ones aren't so I think that's a pretty cool little design because the IROC we were able to stick bolts in there missing link able to stick bolts in there but these are part of the collector series and if you guys want a set of these good luck because I just bought the last set so you just can't sleep on stuff like this when he uh, sent that email to me saying Earl I saw the hardware um, thinks there was an error let me get that out to you right away and then he was uh, he was basically saying oh by the way um, we are on the last set of the spiral cuts would I like them and you know what my answer is always well yeah I can't wait I can't buy them next paycheck gotta get them this paycheck so we got series one and series two hoping that he comes out with the series three and uh, hope we can keep these wheels going because they definitely are an awesome look so you got your little baggie with the longer hardware as you can see it's definitely longer than the last set that we got and that looks like a longer hardware too so I'm pretty sure that's gonna fix those wheels I robbed half of the ones off the missing link to get them squished down far enough to where I can get the smaller ones in there to kind of hold the rings on but we're gonna go ahead and get these two RC's fixed up as well meanwhile what do you say we pick some tires to throw on this So I've got a couple choices here. I do like the white lettering on there. So we're going to go with some Hoosiers on the front. S3s. We're going to throw on the front of these bad boys. But on the rears, I'm running orange. Now I have my choice of the Reaction Belted or the Hoosiers that aren't belted soft so I don't know it's a tough call I am running the Hoosier orange on there now which is this one and it was doing wheel stands um, I don't know I, I think we got to keep the lettering going on there I'm gonna I'm gonna save the reactions um for testing on the IROC because I think that one's gonna need these belted tires more than watermelon going to this has stock 
electronics in it even though it's outperforming all my other RCs right now um, I just think we're gonna stick with that now I can go with some purples that are a little softer but the purples I run I run that on 3s so the purples are definitely going to uh, to get eaten up with that kind of 3s power so I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with uh, with the orange all right got some tools got some tires got the video rolling so we're gonna go with orange up front as well and good company Proline more decals coming with their tires so we are gonna get get these put on pretty flat lip got some scratch marks on them look at that guys so fire that's gonna look nice now as you see one is right and one is left with that spiral cut so there is a left and a right so we'll pay attention to that when installing it getting that onto watermelon the one who started all my uh, drag builds was uh, was Watermelon. Got me doing YouTube because I posted that video and it got a got a lot of looks. Now, what I like to do, who's your who's your dot? Who's your who's your dot? the uniform let's get these rears opened up most stickers stickers as RC guy would say got me some stickers RC guy garage might have to send you uh some uh, reef stickers he sent two out might have to drop that in the mail for you I know how you love stick eyes so let's get these rings taken out of here beadlock I'll tell you what um, I got some beadlock front wheels coming yes I said it beadlock front wheels coming they were finally shipped out been waiting for those wheels a long time they're made to order so finally got some coming but let's see are these vented these are vented he's got a vent hole in these wheels That's unique. Once you slip them on through the face, remember they're 2 2 and 3 0. Oh. So you're going to have to stretch these things over without, uh, without pulling that foam off to one side. That blue foam's kind of uh, stiff. So, you just got to be careful with it. Like I said before, make sure you get these wheels tucked in. These tires tucked in. So that you can get these beautiful rings 
silver on one side, polished on the other. You know your boys got to go for the polished. We don't, we don't, we chrome it. If it don't go, chrome it. So, nice thing about putting the black mat down and uh, getting off my wood table is stainless steel screws. Um, I was looking for screws last time. But now, we can see all the screws. They're right there. Chrome. Got great control. We definitely don't want them locked. Oh, it's nice. The hardware reaches. Perfect. Appreciate it. Good product, small company, you gotta love it. Takes care of their customers, I didn't even have to call. He saw the video and reached out to me. So that was pretty, pretty nice of him. Considering being a nobody channel and uh, getting that kind of love to where a company reaches out and says, man, it could be the wrong hardware. So, like I'm telling you guys, companies like that, that uh, pay attention to their customers and reach out when there's a problem. I didn't even have to call them. They called me and uh, we got it solved. And I got another set of good wheels in the process. Got to support people that uh, put that kind of effort into their business. So I got those started. We're going to flip it around. I got to get this tucked in. Make sure that thing's tucked in to that lip all the way around. Seat it nicely. Make sure your foam is seated nicely. Grab your inner ring. It's silver on both sides. Go ahead and get your hardware set up. Get it started. finish off the base of this wheel there we go we're going to get that tightened down in a second let's get this other wheel going so I'm going to pause the video here while I get this one put together There we go. Fire. Let's get them on. So, you can see what I mean by that style. So, I like the spokes whoosh him back not forward but everybody has their own style this is the way I feel they should go now we have to get bearings spacers for the front hopefully I got some more bearings uh, because with the reef wheels they're not as thick 
So on the slashes, um, the wheel nut will bottom out before the screw on the front. So a little FYI, if you didn't hear me say that last time. Back seems to be okay it's just the front they need to be a little thicker oh, the backs on all right give me a second let me find some bearings all right let's see are these the bearings god those are still big And where's my small bearings? Be right back. All right, I'm gonna have to break into my Fast Eddie kit. Here's the bearing I'm looking for. That one right there. That one right there. They're the ones for the steering. Took the time to make the direction the right way on both right and left. It's the kind of detail Reefs RC put into these wheels. Is that there's a right side and a left side. Not even real manufacturers. Um, unless you get into the really high end stuff. Does something like that. So there we go. Got the bearings in the front. Oh, she's sitting nice now. Added a little bit of weight to this one, which is what I was hoping for. God knows that RC needs some weight. Now I've got a ton of test wheels and tires. I might start having a sale on drag wheels considering I got a bunch of them now between the J concepts and the pro lines and now the reefs but let's take a look at this
What do you think? Does that fit watermelon or what? It sure does look good on watermelon. looking fire watermelons looking so good is it the Chevy too wheel set is it the IROX Is it the spiral cut on watermelon? Well, there we go, guys. So, like, comment, subscribe. And we will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.